Secretary Hagel say ISIS is not just well-funded, it's rich. Well, it's very rich. It robbed a bank in Mosul in June and got $425 million, but that's just starters. It now has oil and lots of it. KT McFarland was the former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for President Reagan. She joins us. Good evening, KT. And KT, I want to focus on this oil money. What do they have? Well, they've got a number of things. In eastern Syria, they've got oil wells. In western Iraq, they have oil wells and refineries. As you pointed out, they robbed a bank to the tune of about half a billion with a B. They are thought to have roughly two billion in assets and cash. They're getting revenues, oil revenues, as well as other revenues from selling extra weapons, from selling antiquities, and from kidnappings and ransoms. They're getting a revenue base of probably two to three million a day. Now that makes them not only the best um, equipped military, because they've got all the state-of-the-art American equipment, but it makes them the richest. And if you take that, coupled with the fact that there are somewhere, but somewhere near 7,000 European passport holders fighting in Syria and Iraq, and several hundred American passport holders. In other words, those groups could come to the United States, they're rich, they've got money, seed money, they can form cells, and they are clearly not afraid of anything. In fact, the leader of ISIS has said in the past, see you in New York. Their well, goal you know, is to bring the fight to America. Just so the viewers get a sense of this, they now control seven oil fields mm -hmm. and two small refineries, and, uh, that, and, and they've got all this oil. They can, they're, they're selling 40,000 barrels a day, which is about $2 million a day. But what they do is they sell it on the black market for anywhere from 25 right. to $60, when I, if they were selling it on the regular market, it would be 102 So people want to buy it right. from them. So people are buying right. lots of this oil from him, so, I mean, from them. So they're getting, they're getting money right well, over the, oh, it's coming in over the transom. It's coming over the transom, and what are they using that money for? Now, remember, they used to be called um, Al-Qaeda in Iraq. They didn't have a very good experience. They got kicked out by the Sunni tribes because they were too violent and they were too brutal. They've had a rebranding effort, and what they've now done is they're taking over these areas and they're holding them. How? Because they're paying off. They're offering subsidies. They're offering bribes to the Sunni tribes, and they're no longer as violent to those people as they used to be. They're letting the local guys run it. They're saving their violence for Christians, for religious minorities, for anybody who doesn't agree with them. KT, thank you. Yeah, thank you. And while the world focuses on